Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. Welcome to the big news of the day. The topic for today is the first human case of H5 bird flu or avian influenza that has been detected in the United States. But before we discuss this important topic, I would like to remind you that Target Prelims 2022, which is our free prelims crash course, is all set to begin today with the first lecture on Indian polity. These sessions will be held every day for the next three weeks between 7.30 to 9.30 p.m., which will go live on our YouTube channel. The schedule for the crash course and the relevant links has been provided in the description box below. And I would also like to remind you that tomorrow and day after, that is the 1st of May and the 2nd of May, are holidays. And hence, we won't be coming out with our daily videos, such as the Hindu analysis, the daily quiz and the big news. We shall be resuming these initiatives from the 3rd of May and please make note of this. So with this, let's get started with today's The Big News, which is the detection of the first human case of H5 bird flu in the US. The US CDC or the Center for Disease Control has reported the first human case of H5 bird flu, which is essentially avian influenza caused by type A influenza virus of the H5 strain. This case was reported in a person who was closely working with infected birds, which were suspected to have the H5N1 bird flu. With regard to detection of H5 avian influenza viruses in humans, this happens to be the second case in the world after the first human case was reported last year in Britain. Over the years, as avian influenza amongst birds have spread and poses a potential threat to humans, these viruses have been closely monitored and in the US alone, the CDC or the Center for Disease Control has detected and reported several outbreaks of this highly pathogenic avian influenza, especially that of the H5, H5N1 strains amongst birds, including both wild birds and domesticated birds. So it becomes important to understand what is avian influenza and what threat do they pose to humans. See, avian influenza or bird flu is known to be highly contagious amongst birds. It is essentially a viral disease caused by influenza type A viruses. And apart from this, we also have type B and type C viruses. And they occur naturally amongst wild birds, especially amongst wild aquatic birds. But through their droppings, that is through their feces and through their nasal secretions, the viruses can easily spread and even infect domesticated poultry birds and as well as other animal species such as dogs, pigs, etc. Amongst the avian influenza viruses, type A viruses are considered to be very contagious and they spread very quickly amongst birds and they can sicken them with several flu-like symptoms and could even kill the domesticated birds. So these viruses definitely pose a big threat to the poultry industry and since they are highly contagious, if outbreaks are detected amongst birds, such outbreaks will have to be immediately contained by culling these birds. Culling involves killing and disposal of those birds which are suspected to be infected in order to contain the outbreak and prevent the spread of the virus to other birds. So avian influenza or bird flu definitely poses a threat to birds, especially domesticated birds. But these viruses do have the potential to make a zoonotic jump and infect humans as well and with the right kind of mutation. And if the virus were to become more transmissible, it is possible for the virus to sustain human to human transmission as well. There are several different strains of avian influenza within type A viruses and they do have the potential to result in an outbreak and there exists a potential to trigger an epidemic or even a pandemic. With regard to human transmission of these viruses, the type A avian influenza viruses are the most dangerous and strains such as H5N1 and the recently detected H5 strains, they have the highest potential to infect humans, especially those who are closely involved in working with poultry. Those who come in direct contact with infected animals or birds or even with contaminated surfaces and environments, they are at the highest risk of getting infected and with the right kind of mutation, 
these viruses can sustain human to human transmission the first ever case of such avian influenza in humans was detected in 1996 1997 in china and since then it has been detected in several other countries amongst them the h5n1 strain is the most common strain being reported in wild birds in poultry and as well as in humans but most of these outbreaks have largely been limited and they have been contained and with regard to a new subtype of the virus known as the h5 strain only two known cases of human infection have been reported the first ever case was reported in britain last year and now the first case in the united states has also been reported even though the risk posed to humans by these viruses is currently very low they cannot be taken for granted and hence it is very important to contain the spread of these outbreaks at the source itself in order to decrease the risk for humans studies have clearly established human transmission as of now has been noted only in cases where humans had come in direct or indirect contact with infected live birds or with dead poultry hence it becomes important to maintain high degree of surveillance at poultry farms and poultry workers will have to adopt a lot of safety measures such as wearing of ppe kits or practicing basic sanitation and hygiene etc and if local outbreaks are reported amongst the birds the birds will have to be culled in order to prevent a larger outbreak amongst birds and also to prevent a possible jump to humans so to minimize the public health risk posed by avian influenza high quality surveillance is required both amongst animals and birds and as well as amongst the human populations which are at high risk and thorough investigation of every human case would be required in order to promote risk based pandemic planning see after the first case of avian influenza in humans was reported in 1997 different strains of avian influenza have been reported amongst various other animals and humans as well in multiple countries according to who amongst the reported cases of h5n1 mortality rate has been pretty high amongst humans and several bird flu outbreaks have been reported in india as well amongst wild birds and poultry birds several cases have been reported in maharashtra gujarat west bengal kerala etc even though india declared itself to be free from bird flu in 2019 several new outbreaks have been reported but as of now according to the government of india there have been no case of human infections so far but it could be possible to have had many asymptomatic cases according to experts this is one reason why the mortality rate as of now appears to be higher amongst humans because number of cases would go unreported especially those which are asymptomatic thereby presenting a false picture about the high mortality rate the worst case scenario would involve the virus mutating to become easily transmissible amongst humans and this is where the potential for an epidemic or a pandemic lies if infected humans have reported symptoms such as respiratory symptoms including cough fever sore throat and other symptoms associated with flu and most patients infected with h5n1 and h5 strains are treated with regular antiviral drugs such as oseltamivir and they often report a quick recovery but this does not mean we can take the virus for granted because they can easily become more contagious and transmissible amongst humans with one right mutation and hence it's very very important to maintain constant surveillance and promote safety protocols and hygiene amongst people who are working with livestock and poultry but in the current case of h5 influenza which has been detected in the us the risk is considered to be very low as per the cdc or the center for disease control according to the cdc the current case which has been reported does not change the human risk assessment for the general public the patient reported very mild symptoms and has reportedly even recovered after being isolated and treated with antiviral drugs but considering the high pathogenicity of type a influenza viruses especially that of h5n1 and as well as h5 authorities around the world have maintained constant surveillance and in the us alone most states have reported the detection of these cases amongst wild birds and as well as amongst poultry hence the cdc is closely tracking these outbreaks and has already tested more than 2500 people with potential exposure 
as of now even though just one case has been reported there is a possibility that those who tested negative might later test positive and hence the cdc maintains a constant state of high alert in order to prevent a successful jump of the h5 and h5n1 viruses to humans so this brings our discussion to an end and if you like the initiative don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching